Hi, Tim Mackey with Yamaha Unified Communications. And today I want to give you a really cool look at the auto tuning, auto discovery, auto configuration feature of the Yamaha Desia system. So I'm working from home still here in Austin, Texas in my motorcycle workspace slash garage. And I've mounted the Adesia CG microphone, the RMCG mic above my head. And I've got to my left and right here, the Yamaha VXL line arrays that I've mounted on some tripods. To my left over here in my rack is the rest of the system, which is the RMCR signal processor and the Yamaha PoE Plus switch. Now, to install this system, all I've done is plug Cat 5s from the speakers and the ceiling mic and the CR processor into the PoE Plus switch and then plug the PoE Plus switch into a 110 wall outlet. That's it. Truly remarkable. Amazing stuff. So let's take a look at the GUI. I'm going to go ahead and share my second screen. And while I'm doing that, I want to let you know I'm recording right now on my PC microphone because I tried to use my YBC 200 and any device with intelligent processing was filtering out the pink noise that I'm trying to illustrate here in this process. So let's go ahead and log in to the RMCR. And the first time you log in, you're going to see this screen. You're going to enter in your password. This is what you'll see, the setup wizard. You won't see this screen if you don't want to uh, moving forward, but the very first time you log in, you will see this screen. And this screen comes up by just pressing this auto setup button as well. So literally, this is it. You come in here, click next. We're gonna use that Dante backend to auto discover our devices right here. Uh, populate right in here. I can click search. There's our devices. There's our IP addresses. There's my two speakers and my RMCG. Now, if I was deploying multiple systems enterprise-wide, I can use this button right here to flash the light on a particular device or use my MAC address, um, but I wanted you to be aware of that if you're deploying multiple systems. So let's go ahead and click Next. And we've now registered those devices to our system. It was that simple. We discovered them. And the speakers are going to populate here, and it's going to help me identify the left and right speakers. So I'm going to click this LED right here and... Uh, excuse me, click this button right here. And the speaker to my right over here is flashing. And that's it. I just select right. That's selecting my left and right speakers. Click next. Now I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to execute the process. It's going to play some pink noise through the speakers and it's going to listen through the mic array and it's going to make tuning adjustments for this environment. You'll see the progress up here in the center. And that's it. It's just that simple, folks. You're all done. You know, an IT manager, an office manager can completely tune this system without having to be an audio engineer. That's the beauty of it, right? So let me stop sharing here for a second. And now I'm going to swap from this laptop mic. And just to show you, I am on a laptop mic. It's very poor performance in this environment unless I stay very close to my laptop. 
Now I'm going to go into the Zoom drop-down menu and select the Yamaha system for my new ceiling and mic. And there we go. So that's it, folks. Now I have a system in here where I can go anywhere in this shop and have a dynamic, narrow beam on me anywhere I go. In fact, this chair right here is 12 feet away I measured from the microphone. And I'm literally going to whisper. I'm now whispering 12 feet away from the microphone. So that's an, a really, really amazing setup right there. I think it took me about five minutes from connecting the devices in to going through the uh, setup process. So that's a quick look at the auto-tuning setup with the Odessia system. Thank you very much.